Okay, by now everyone heard of ChatGPT, which is a great project, but will it take your job? Will it take over the world? In other words, is it the future of all intelligence? But before we answer that, let's clarify that OpenAI never pushed this hype themselves. Actually, they were pretty accurate of what ChatGPT was, simply by naming it ChatGPT. And yeah, to understand what it is, we need to understand what GPT stands for. Technically, it's generative pre-trained transformers, and generative is something else than more known pre-forwards, but it's not a new idea. And yeah, pre-trained, so no, ChatGPT is not getting smarter while talking to you. I'm sorry. But the main ingredient is transformers, and they were introduced by Google in the iconic paper Attention is all you need, already in 2017. And I know it feels like yesterday, but in such a rapidly evolving field, where effectively all books are outdated. Trust me, six years are just centuries. So we had Transformers for a while, but what made them so special though? First, we need to understand how AI learns for that. And it learns through the process called gradient descent. Point is that whenever input flows through the deep neural network, at the end it has the output, and this output is compared to the correct answer we know, and based on how accurate it is, it adjusts neurons accordingly, going back layer by layer in deep network. However, if network is too deep, this signal will be diminished, and this problem has even its own name, vanishing gradient problem. So, we could not make deep learning deep, and so many papers show that that is essential in deep learning. While transformers solve this for us, they don't look at sequence. They process it all at the same time. You can imagine all my eye just shining over the landscape of information and paying attention on different parts with different intensity of lights. And that's what they did. And yeah, that was enough. And that's why attention is all you need. That's why new natural language processing AIs can grasp longer paragraphs and yeah, write long essays. But you'll be okay, Google might made it, but what if they never touch it again? Yeah, but no, that's not the case. Google and Face Meta use transformers every single day. They use them in recommendations, and you can see it yourself how much better they got. I mean, YouTube now pays up to $40 per thousand views to creators. And now YouTubers are about to be billionaires, while wow, just a few years ago, even YouTube millionaires were quite rare. Because Google's AI knows better than anyone else what you desire. Some advertisers are willing to pay Google more. So Google has more to lose than gain, and that is why they want to publish something better than ChatGPT. But could they? Well, we can speculate, but we can have a guess. Remember Lambda? Lambda convinced Google's engineer that it was sentient, and I don't even ask ChatGPT to do that. Can you convince someone over chat that you are sentient? Well, that's an actual dilemma, but back to the point. Big companies like Google are already far ahead than what's available to the public, but you'll never know until they take over the world.